Welcome back. Now, the US Central Bank will announce later whether they plan to rise interest rates even further in an effort to stem stubbornly high inflation. Uh, well, let's get some more now from Food and Earth's business uh, expert, Nina Trentman. Morning to you, Nina. Um, hey, it's very you. early here in the UK, <laughs> but just give us context to what's happening to the economy in the US and inflation there, first of all. Yeah, we are seeing um, the U.S. basically um, facing a potential slowdown in the economy. We saw um, first quarter GDP growth at 1.1 percent, which was slower than what was expected. And we are seeing, of course, the impacts on of inflation on everyday living costs, on financing costs for companies. Um, at the same time, the unemployment rate. And about 3.5 percent is still a historic low. So there's a few sort of indicators that are pointing in different directions, which are making it hard for the Fed as it um, plans to announce the status interest rate decision today. And just talk to us about what we can expect later today: a rise in interest rates there. Yeah. So the expectation is that the Fed will increase rates again by 25 basis points, which comes, of course, on the back of multiple increases since March 22, when the Fed first started raising rates. Um, the interesting thing to watch will be very much what the Fed, not just what it does, but actually what it says about the trajectory from here on. We've been seeing um, markets, specifically bond markets and other interest rate markets, um, betting that this might be the final increase from the Fed and that it might actually pause from here on and potentially even start cutting rates later this, this year. I think um, that would be one thing that investors and company executives and overall observers will be looking for to, in terms of comments from the, the Fed to see sort of what do they see uh, on the horizon, how do they think about the, the impact of, of higher interest rates on the economy and also what do they see in terms of the, the banking sector. And what do you think will happen and how does the, the Biden administration, what do they have to do to make sure there's a, a possible cut in interest rates? Well, I think, um, of course, the question as to whether you would have a cut or not, uh, we'll, we will see. Of course, it is possible, though at the same time, there seems to be a bit of a divergence what markets are expecting and what actually policymakers have signaled. So, the Fed and its various um, board makers have signaled that they don't see room for, for rate cuts right now. I think there would have to be a significant slowdown in the economy for the Fed to consider that. And then at the same time, if inflation stays elevated, um, it still is at 5% or the 5% in uh, recent months, um, then there is, of course, this question as to should the Fed um, cut rates or, or should it wait to see um how things develop from here. So it's a, it's a bit of a tricky situation that the central bank is in, given that also we're seeing stress in the banking sector. We saw First Republic that was taken over by J.P. Morgan earlier this week, another um, victim, so to say, of, of the recent pressure in the banking system, which at least to some degree stems from, from high interest rates. Um, so it's certainly going to be an interesting meeting to watch uh, later today. Okay, Nina Tretman, thanks so much for your insights. Uh, speak to you soon. Thank you for having me.